What's happening, YouTube? This is your girl, Megan. Welcome back to the Hood Astro Queen Cousins. However, if this is your first time joining me on today, welcome to my channel. It's here that we use information from celestial bodies to help us gain a better understanding of our favorite celebrities, world events, but most importantly, our damn selves. So do us both a solid, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video to grow the channel, and click the notification bell so that way you will be alerted when I make a new post. And so today I'm going to talk to you guys about the five different times Keisha Cole was a Capricorn South Node. I did not watch this whole versus thing that took place at this time yesterday. So when you'll be seeing this video, the versus occurred yesterday, okay? And I mean, I just didn't care. However, a lot of people did watch it. They made a lot of observations. The girls were talking and one of the biggest critiques about that versus because a lot of people didn't like it but the biggest critique was the fact that Keisha Cole was late as hell and when I heard that my ears perked up and I said huh? because that just so happens to be one of the biggest manifestations of that Capricorn South Node so the first instance in which Keisha Cole was a Capricorn South Node is when she showed up to her own goddamn verses and her own goddamn house an hour and some change late. And it was so awkward because people were talking about how Ashanti was just sitting there. And I did see little clips and things like that just floating around social media. And it just did give like this weird vibe. And so it definitely started the show or the verses on this weird footing. And when it comes to Capricorn South Nodes, these are individuals who have a horrible concept of time. They tend to do extremely poorly when it comes to time management and their time management skills, which can often lead to situations where they are running late. So this was very, very fitting for Keisha Coleslaw. The second instance in which Keisha Coleslaw was a Capricorn South Node, this was also even one of the critiques for the versus battle her attitude she had a stank ass attitude Keisha Cole has always had a horrible stank a dank dank ass attitude and this is going back I'm talking about like back in the day because I remember being around people who knew her personally or people who have encountered her personally and they have said the same thing Keisha Cole is notorious for her nasty as attitude and although she and ashanti are both libra sons ashanti is definitely closer in terms of alignment with that libra energy because as the capricorn south note a lot of these people can be just straight bitter just straight bitter mean the type of people to walk around with chips on their shoulder right the type of people to walk around just mean and rude and it also doesn't help that ashanti has her saturn conjunct her son Right. And I always talk about how people with heavy Saturn energy are just assholes. They could just be mean. So she has her Saturn conjunct her son and that Saturn's also squaring her cancer ascendant. So she's just a highly unlikable person. Even when you just looked at how Ashanti was, her demeanor and disposition, you know, she's like, hey, guys, you know, hey, oh, 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 oh. yeah, well, yeah. And then Keisha Coleslaw in the cut. Um well, uh, mm -hmm. girl, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. I can't, I can't deal with her. She's so insufferable to me. Now, the third time in which Keisha Cole Slaw was a Capricorn South Note, and this was more so over the span in the course of her entire career, as opposed to one singular incident, but her reputation for being a struggle singer now i mean i don't, I don't necessarily mean the quality of her voice <laughs> you know no shade i'm more so speaking to the style of singing or the style of music that she makes right so and one thing that i've noticed and this is very prominent with a lot of singers with heavy capricorn energy uh, they are the all my life I had to fight singers. These are the singers who gain a reputation for their love songs or their heartbreak, more so their heartbreak music, right? I remember when my heart broke. My man don't want me no more. My life is so horrible. 
please help me somebody like you know <laughs> that's very capricorn it's very saturn based it's doom it's gloom it's woe is me it's i got the blues it's don't nobody understand my struggle it's my pain and it's my struggle and it also doesn't help that keisha cole has her south note in her seventh house of relationships so you can even look at that as her directly singing about her relationships and how they failed and a really good example of this uh in terms of celebrity wise would also be mary j blige who happens to be a capricorn son she's another one that where you can count on mary and it's funny because a lot of people have compared keisha kosla to mary j blige in many respects and you can always count on mary for some you said it's your child and it really messed me up if you look in my life you see what i've seen like it's like girl no more drama like you know she will really hit you with the with the i'm so sad i'm going down you know what i mean and another singer who embodies this energy is k michelle she's a pisces son but she is also another fellow capricorn south node and these are also women it's like they make their best art when they're heartbroken but that is their default mode of operation so we're talking very depressing music from some very miserable ass bitches now the fourth instance in which keisha cole proved to be a capricorn south note was when she much like many of her fellow capricorn south notes revealed to the world right that her family life was so fucked up and it's always such an interesting thing with these people because you know, a lot of Capricorn South Nodes are very accomplished. They are very accomplished in their careers, very renowned in their careers. A lot of these people can be workaholics, very similar to what I spelled out even in my uh, Nicki Minaj video, my Beyonce video. These are people who are very affluent and they can be heavy hitters in whatever field that they decide to commit themselves to. But no matter how successful they are, you can always count on their personal lives being just dysfunctional as hell. Okay, family issues, all kinds of problems with their damn kids. A lot of them are horrible mothers. Obviously, not every Capricorn South Node is a horrible mom. So, you know, fellow Capricorn South Nodes watching this, this doesn't necessarily have to be you, but I'm not going to cap. They do have a difficult time with motherhood and raising children. So with that being said, Keisha is absolutely no different. No different. Now, she did take a different approach in terms of allowing the people to see these things firsthand by putting her family on reality television. And I'm not even finna go all up in that because if you know Keisha Cole and her family and if you watched any of her reality shows, you would know that family is batshit crazy. Even when it comes to her own personal life, it's batshit crazy. And it's also reinforcing the fact that her South Note is in that seventh house. So she's almost always going to have a difficult time creating a stable home life, having stable um, and fulfilling relationships and all that other stuff. So, you know, on the bright side, we'll have more struggle music, a lot more depressing music to come. So if y'all still listening to Keisha today, uh, you know, that's that's good. I like her old music. The new music, I'll pass. But you know, that's good news for y'all though. So be on the lookout. She might drop some fire real soon. Now the fifth and final instance in which Keisha Coleslaw was a Capricorn South node was when she first stepped on the scene and she opened her mouth and we saw that gap. Okay. And then her teeth were kind of giving me a little jagged edge. They were giving me, they weren't as bad as K Michelle's which also further supports my point because Capricorn does govern the teeth. You know, a lot of Capricorn South knows, depending on what else is going on in their charts, they can have some difficult time with their dental work or their dental situation, okay? And I mean, you know, this ain't about K. Michelle, but did y'all see K. Michelle's teeth? I mean, her throwback teeth. I'm talking about the check ain't clear jet teeth. Okay, before I signed my first record deal teeth, they were rough. Now, Keisha Cole's teeth were not as bad. And I personally don't think there are any 
uh, issues with gaps. I don't think anything is wrong with a gap to a certain degree. Keisha Cole's gap was cute. And a lot of people with gaps are really cute to me. Uh, but they were still kind of weird looking. And then even after she got her teeth corrected, it was like she had these big ass, like extra large donkey from Shrek teeth. And that's something else that Kay Michelle does as well. Like, I don't understand, like, if when they go to Hollywood and have their teeth done and they get these little porcelain veneers put in their mouths, do they only come in one size? Can they shave them down a little bit? Now they got these big ass Mr. Ed chompers. Like, it's weird. And it, their mouths make me uncomfortable. Like, it's, but that is very Saturn based. That's a very Capricorn kind of problem. So yeah so this concludes my video on the five times keisha cole was a capricorn south note y'all be sure to drop down in the comment section let me know what you thought all right what you think about keisha cole and this whole situation what did you think about the versus battle and make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others and until the next video i holla